this is Becca and today I wanted to show you the next Bible challenge kit um, this is in my shop prepare from above is actually going to be released on September 29th 2020 and um, the theme of the month is hope in him um, now the reason why I picked hope in him is because I have also partnered up with a lot of amazing ladies over at Bible Journaling Ministries and this month we are having a virtual um, Bible conference and this virtual Bible conference is completely free no matter where you are in the world we would like for you to join us um, we have right now this is going into day three three I think of the day after there's three days after launch and we already have over 2,000 people already signed up um, I would love for you to be there I would love for you to get all the free printables there's a ton of free printables in this Bible conference um, there's also 24 20, between 22 and 24 speakers I am one of them Mine is the last session of the whole conference, and I'm just so ecstatic for everyone that could come together, and I am so happy that we can reach everyone all around the world with this Bible conference because it's a virtual Bible conference. They show the videos on their platform for free for 24 hours, and if you would like to learn more about it, I have my link down below. You can sign up. You can sign up through my link, look and see what it's all about because I kid you not, there's a lot of great prizes on there. There's a lot of great giveaways. There is also just a lot of fun Bible journaling in this event. Um, it will take place October 14th through 16th and I wanted this kit to go with the same scriptures as what I made for that. Um, however, the kits won't match. <laughs> the kits will not match at all because the colors for this kit are completely different. And this is something that I wanted to put in my shop rather than for the freebie through there. Um, so here we go. Hope in Him. And um, what I did was I took, as usual... Um, Bible Challenge Kit 5, page 1, Hope in Him. There's Bible verses. There's always, like I said, going to be 31 Bible verses because no matter when you are doing these, um, I want to make sure you have enough for the full month because if you're doing it in months that have 31 days, well, you need that extra scripture for those 31 days. If you only have February when it has 28 or 29 or other months that have 30, 30 days, then there you go, you have some bonuses left over on the end. Plain and simple, right? Um, so here we have, these are hedgehogs. Now these are cute. This is, a boy, this is a boy and this is a girl, obviously, the way they're wearing their clothes. And then here is a cute little um, deer and another deer. And so a lot of boys and girls in here, um, we do have some butterflies, apples, flowers, tons of flowers. I'm not sure. Those are almost like trees. So there's that. Your next page. I wanted to make sure you got some more um, pockets. You can use the pockets any which way you want. You can put these in your Bible. You can put them, um, cut them out and fold them and put them in your journal. You can put the tags that are here in them. Um, I, I think these are lovely because what you can do is you can write the verses on some of them on the front, some of them on the back. You can put hidden, hidden um, journaling on the back, also hidden prayers, anything you want in this kit. Like I've always said before, there's no right or wrong way to do these kits in my shop because no matter what you're doing you're getting into the word you're remembering what you read because you're remembering the kit along with the scripture 
Um, so here are some tags. These are some cute tags right here. Um, I made sure I added her again, and we have two reindeer boys here. Um, there's some nice flowers, some other flowers, and then um, these are nice floral patterns. I love them. Um, you will see some of this throughout parts of the kit or maybe some of the add-ons. I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff I've added on for this kit. Also, um, page three um, has the big flower. I usually have a box right here about this size, but when I put this on there, I thought this is beautiful by itself. And if you wanted to cut it in half, put one on one side, one on the other side, or one on one page, one on another page, that would be completely fine. Um, I also have this here. You can, if you wanted, cut this out and make it a frame. Um, you can put your journaling inside it and, and just put the frame around it. And then you have a bonus flower in the middle. Or you can leave it just like that and stick it wherever you want. I always make sure that I add my hexes because everyone loves these hexes. Um, I do have five right here. I'm going to show you some more that I have in an add-on kit. And then I have um, kind of like the normal pieces that I've put in most of the kits where I've noticed a lot of people like them. Um, a little bubble, speech bubbles here, some tags or tabs or flags or whatever you want to call them. Um, some of those and here's another flower, some circles, arrows and that is that right there. I also added for this kit, I wanted to make sure you had enough paper. Um, this paper, I could have had them like turn this way so that way they would be right side up this way but if you're going to make a traveler's notebook out of this and you want to fold it down the middle and cut off the edges and fold it so you have this as cover this is a back cover or either way you want to do it well you want them standing up and not laying on their sides so i made sure that they are standing up on both sides they are so cute right next to each other I think that is just adorable isn't it also I love love these flowers in this kit I added some more of the paper here and some paper here it is kind of like a fall theme but it's not very fall like um, I have ideas for November 2020 um, that might be a little bit more fall themes but I can give you a hint. It's going to have something centered around gratitude. So, just wanted to let you know. I might have a little bit more different variety for that. Anyways, um, so there is some florals right here. And that is page five. And all five pages are going to be six dollars. Um, also, here is the add-on. I wanted to make sure we got an add-on. I'm going to put these back over here for a second. I wanted to make sure we got an add-on this month. Um, here, like I said before, here are the hexes. These don't have anything in them, but th these are great because then if you wanted to write your um, verse, not the full verse, but the actual um book of the Bible, chapter and verse. You can write that on here and then write your verse after that. Um, I got some wonky hearts and then some more tags, some rainbows, and those beautiful flowers again. And I think that turned out just beautiful. Um, the next page, uh, this is something that I'm going to start doing is adding monthly Bible Dex cards to go with the kits. They coordinate with the kits because a lot of people are starting to do the Bible Dex or Memory Dex cards and they love it. And then I thought this would be great because I give you four. So if you only wanted to do four of the verses on Bible, De on Bible Dex cards and just keep stacking up four a month, there you go. Here's what they are. Um, I forgot to erase a little bit right here when I was making it, so just don't worry about that because it's not interfering with this card. And here are some more washi strips, 
and I made these all the flowers and these two down here is the same type of texture or texture look as these. So that is Bible decks, Bible challenge five, kit five text cards. When I name these kits, it's so hard for me to sometimes just say them out loud. It's so funny. Um, and the last thing is rainbows. One thing I love about these kits or making kits is I love making rainbows. Um, it was, as you already have seen from the Bible Challenge kit add-on uh, for this month. But I made all of these with these different colors. I have some hearts and stars and just something that can give you a little bit more um, creativity with your kit. But I am so glad you watched this video today. I am so happy that you are here. Like I said, go down below because I will have... Um, I will have the link Bible journaling conference. It's online next month. I will have the links or the usernames, not usernames, the, the screen names for everyone on my creative team. So you can get your 20% off anything in the shop. Once again, that's if it's not already on sale. And also I will have the um, the calendar for October listed on my blog down below as well because um, I need to get that on there and you that way you can look and see when these verses are going to work throughout the month. If you cannot buy this kit, don't worry. And you want to do the verses, go to my blog down below and you will be able to get the calendar, I still haven't printed it yet, but you will be able to get the calendar and write out the verses as you want. Um, I want to make sure, I still make sure that you get the Bible verses for free, but everything else usually I put in my shop, if that makes any sense. Um, I am so happy you are here. Like I said, keep an eye out on this. You're going to see links down below. Sign up for the newsletter because that's where a lot of my, I, a lot of my things come from. Um, I'm not trying to be just selling everything all the time. Most of the time I have where my heart is at that moment with kits. I might even just send a random message and say, how are you? <laughs> um, so I hope you had a great time watching this video. And I thank you for watching. God bless. Bye.